شكرا للزملاء بالاستوديو جمهورية ديمقراطية تمثيلية تتمثل بسهولة العميقة وقمم جبال الإنديز والغابات الاستوائية للتحدث أكثر حول هذه البلاد الجميلة والعلاقات مع دولة الإمارات بسعدنا أن يكون معنا اليوم سعادة ماركو أنتونيو سانتيفانيس قنصل عام البيرو لدى دبي والإمارات الشمالية Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning, Hala. Thank you so much for this opportunity to have a conversation and we talk uh, to talk about Peru and other issues. Great to have you here, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, your background is very interesting. You're a lawyer. You have an extensive diplomatic career. You're a, dip a minister in the diplomatic service and you have so much also involvement in the IRENA, which is related to the renewable energy. Can you tell us more about yourself? For sure. Before coming to Dubai, I was in charge of the Office of International Law in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Peru. I have worked in different continents, different countries, but this is the first time I work in the Middle East. I am really very happy to be here in Dubai, especially with my family. They yeah. enjoyed a lot the life, the social life, all what offer Dubai. Talking about uh, IRENA, uh, for sure, Peru has a long tradition, long experience in hydropower, but now we need to look forward to yes. new sources of uh, rene renewable energy, like solar and uh, eldic and, and so on. We, we have learned a lot. We have experience about new technologies and new possibilities through the platform of IRENA. Great, great. Your Excellency, Peru. When we say Peru, we talk about Lima. Lima is the only capital in South America which is on the shores of the Pacific Ocean. And also, according to UNESCO, out of 12 heritage sites, like you had, Peru has 8 out of 12 of these heritage sites. Tell us more about this beautiful country. What is special about it? For those people who intend to visit Peru, uh, my country offered uh, biodiversity and also many, many landscapes, yeah. not only coasts, but also mountains and jungles. And of course, the history of Peru is the history of old uh, civilizations, old kingdoms. Of course. The last of one was Inca Empire. Yes. So maybe most of people have heard about Machu Picchu. Yes. This is located in Cusco. But we have many, many places where you can see old culture, buildings with over 2,000, 3,000 years old. I invite warmly every, everyone who wish to visit Peru because they will find also very warm people. And from this platform also, we invite our audience to visit Peru, of course. Your Excellency, moving to the relationships between Peru and the United Arab Emirates. It's relatively an old relationship and it's a very strong one. I would like to know more about this relationship. Is it like stronger in investment? Is it more in trading? Is it more in culture? Well, uh, Peru and UAE established diplomatic ties in 1986. But uh, after some uh, economic developments, uh, we decided to open a Peruvian consulate in Dubai yes. in, 2000, in June 2011. Yes. And the next year, UAE opened an embassy in Lima. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say investment is very important for both parts. It's a win-win uh, relation. Uh, TP World invested in the main port in Peru, mm -hmm. which is Callao. Now, yeah. recently, or many years ago? The investment is from 2006. Mm -hmm. The uh, works began to mo modernize yes. uh, Callao port begins in 2008. Mm -hmm. And after different phases of investment, now Callao is a very competitive port. It manages uh, containers and it has grown uh, and improve the, the, the quality of, the, of our export products because Excellent. of the speed and the efficiency in this port. Impressive, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, if we want to zoom in more into the projects between Peru and United Arab Emirates 
and your contribution as well. You are contributing heavily now in COP28. So can you tell us more about that? Yes, I, I wish also to remember the Peruvian participation at Expo Dubai 2020. Yes. We had a very important pavilion, a middle pavilion. Yeah, I've been there, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we were very happy to see that uh, yeah. this pavilion won uh, an award from yes. the BIE, the Bureau International mm -hmm. de Exposition, uh -huh. because of the in interior design. Yes. Uh, that was also a very important opportunity to present gastronomy of my country. Yes. After Expo Dubai 2020, it will uh, it has been open over 12 new Peruvian restaurants in Dubai. Now we are working in COP28. Yes. We have uh, high expectations. We have we expect to to receive a big delegation yeah. from Peru. Because for us, it is very important to work um, to reduce uh, climate change. Yes. We are suffering the effects of climate war global warming on yes. the high mountains. We are losing ice. Yes. And therefore, we, we try to coordinate between yes. the Latin American countries to have a common position yeah. regarding this very important issue. Yeah, and Your Excellency, you are the official representative of IRENA. Is this related to COP28, those two projects? Right, uh, IRENA is working very closely mm -hmm. uh, in, in different issues regarding the COP28. Uh, as, as country, Peru is, called, is uh, the president of the Forum of Latin American Ministries of uh, Environment. So we are working closely to to achieve uh, yes. more ambition goals. Yeah, excellent. And Your Excellency, if I want to go back to Expo 2020, when I visited your pavilion, there was an exhibition for jewelry. And you were telling me before we started uh, the, this episode that there are certain collaboration regarding gold and silver between both countries. What about that? Yeah, you know, Peru is uh, uh, among the 10 biggest uh, gold producers. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also exporters of gold. Yeah. We export uh, uh, in 2019 ar around uh, 900 million US dollars in gold. Uh, for, for us, uh, mining is a very important activity, not yes. only gold, but also silver, uh, copper, and also other uh, uh, critical minerals for the uh, transition to new energies. Excellent. Uh, Dubai is a, a, a very important place for us to export gold also to other markets. And we therefore are work, uh, working very intensive, especially our trade office in this uh, issue. Great, great. Your Excellency, as a conclusion to our discussion, what's next for you and what's next for the Consulate General? I have already four years working in Dubai. I am very happy about uh, our achievements. We achieve uh, a bilateral agreement uh, regarding exemption of visa. Yes. This entry yeah, already in force in 2020. Uh, we sign a bilateral agreement about uh, aerial services. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope to uh, create better conditions uh, for both countries to do investments, business, mm -hmm. and also to, uh, to improve the, yeah. the the possibilities for citizens of both countries to work, to study, and to know more about each other, no? Yeah, you mentioned that you have 500 Peruvians here, right? You aim to increase the number as well. We have a small community. Uh, we have uh, Peruvian workers uh, in uh, Emirates. Yeah. We, are, we have also cookers, chefs, uh, architects, uh, professionals, they love to work, yes. they are very happy, they feel integrated. And you have amazing cuisine as well, the Peruvian yes, food. Yes, yeah. for sure. I invite also yeah. uh, your audience to, to visit some Peruvian sure. restaurants in Dubai. Uh, we hope to uh, enhance mm -hmm. the mutual knowledge yeah. uh, about cultures because I think Peruvian society in many 
in many aspects is similar to Emirati yes. society yes. regarding family values, yes. regarding the friendship, and yes. uh, we have many, many ties. Your Excellency Marco Antonio Santibanez, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much also for this kind invitation. Thank you.